He, he was just a small, uh, small town personality guy. He'd talk to anybody. He, had, he, uh, uh, everybody uh, uh, loved to see him coming. And uh, uh, except, I'm sure some of the some of the people on the football field. One of Arkansas's biggest and brightest personalities was lost this week. Former Razorback lineman and Super Bowl champion Mitch Petras died from a heat stroke. Mitch made a name for himself first at Carlisle High School, but as our sister station sports director Wes Moore reports, it didn't take long for the rest of the state, the rest of the country, to get to know Mitch. At the University of Arkansas in 2005. At first he was a fullback, but then moved to the offensive line. Former Razorback assistant coach Gus Malzahn coached Mitch in the Arkansas High School Football All-Star Game and again at the University of Arkansas. He loved football. He had a great passion. Um, you know, he had great positive energy. I can't remember one time that I felt like he had a bad day. He was just one of those real positive people that had great positive energy. By 2007, Mitch was an all-SEC lineman for Houston Nutt while blocking for Darren McFadden. You just knew that, uh, you know, he had it. He had this want to. And uh, he had this enthusiasm and this passion. Uh, the, whether he was in the weight room, and he was so strong. Weight room or on the field, uh, you, you just, just loved his attitude. You loved his energy. And you loved the way he brought it every single day. Man, that's a... Uh, that's, that's tough, man. Uh, a guy like Mitch Patrick, man, that's a, that's a guy that's he's a joy to be around, man. He can put a smile on anybody's face, brighten up any room that he walks into, man. It's, uh, it, it's just a tough deal to, you, uh, to lose a guy like him so young, man. Mitch made All-SEC again in 2009 as a redshirt senior. He went to the NFL Combine and put on a show, putting up 45 reps in the bench press, the second most ever. The New York Giants selected Mitch in the fifth round of the 2010 NFL Draft. He started three games in 2011 and won a Super Bowl ring with the Giants. His NFL career came to an end in 2013. I'm Mitch Petras, and we're here at North Little Rock versus McClellan, and we have the first half highlights coming up. The NFL's loss was our game. In 2015, Mitch began reporting for Fearless Friday. Next season is upon us. We got more food than Golden Corral. I'm officially running for Senate. Joe T. Robinson is my running mate. Oh, God, give it to me, give it to me. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Every Friday night in the fall for the last four seasons, he put on a show for high school football fans. And that's the reason you see so many of us smiling today. Because of him, he brought so much joy to us. That was Westmore reporting. Mitch was just 32 years old. Up on KRK.com right now, we put together a tribute to Mitch. We've talked to his former coaches, teammates, and those who knew him best. We'll be posting more community reaction tonight there. And also in the coming days, you'll see that. It's one of those things that, and I mentioned this at 5 o'clock here, he, was, he would hit a room like a Category 5 hurricane leaving no one untouched and, and just really brightening up everyone's day. And when he left that room, he just left a, uh, a, a sea of smiles and laughter. And you're just kind of like, what, what was that? And you wanted to get as close as you possibly could to it next time. Yeah. He was just that, that, and he had that infectious joy about him. I mean, he, was, he was a great guy. And, uh, and yeah. uh, then the, one of the last times, this is kind of this how is a good story, too. Interesting. Last time I talked to him, he said, hey, Bob, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to learn how to wrestle uh, steer. What do you think of that? And I was like, Go, you could do it. You'll do it. I hope he had the opportunity. I to know. Do that. We'll, have to, we'll have to figure out if he got to do it because we always, know he would have excelled at it. Always <laughs> game for something. Exactly. And Mitch was just 32 years old. We'll be right back.